Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Redcast, the official podcast of the Regional Elite Draft League. We're back for a new season and hopefully more consistent uploads. Um, and this is the second part of our two-part video series on, on the draft analysis for the Regional Elite Draft League Season 7. In this one, we're going to be focusing on the Blue Division. Um, not going to go over the rule changes. If you want to go and check those out, then they'll be right at the beginning of the uh, Yellow Division draft analysis. Um, so anybody who's interested can go see it. Rejoining me on the cast, uh, I have El Birabon, a Yellow Division player. Who's death is... Sorry. He's back oh. again. Uh, Showen representing the Blue Division again. Yes, hello. And Vic, again, back to the uh, as the new face uh, for the Blue Division. Oh, is he there? Vic. Hello. There we go. He's there. Um, so as opposed to the first one, um, we are going to essentially jump right into the drafts. Um, not too much messing about. We need to we need to keep this relatively tight on time. Um, so first draft of the Blue Division: Adelaide Honchcrows, coached by the league creator and. All round, all round nice guy, Bill Standish. Um, his team lines up as Zygarde 50%, Mega Kangaskhan, Tapu Bulu, Bastiodon, Hitmonlee, Necrozma, Tentacruel, Articuno, Raichu, and Miss Magus, with Bastiodon, Necrozma, and Articuno acting as his Z users. Um, now, in the order of the of of the of the graphic on the screen is actually the order that these mons were drafted in so you are not confused that really is a round four bastiodon that was drafted um of course you wanted to the buy the pick. bulu dawn the new the new the new core yeah screw bulu tran bulu dawn is the way absolutely the 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 highest tier of tech um right so General thoughts on this team, folks. Do we have anybody with any completely leading opinions? Um, well, I don't really have much of an opinion on this team, but I do know that Reg hates this draft. I'm um, not a fan. I have to no. admit. Yeah, uh, that's probably because of Budu being on the team. Yeah, um. <laughs> you'd be completely correct. We started. Yeah. We finished the last episode how we started this one with me automatically writing this team off because Budu yeah. is trash. Yeah. Well, let me start off saying that this is an um, interesting team. Um, I mean, Mega Kangaskhan Zygarde 50 is a pretty hefty start to the draft, uh, points-wise. Yeah. And then um, combining it with Bulu and, well, Bastiodon um, to like make up for the points. Um, I guess Bulu. Uh, Bulu together with Zygarde is a really solid thing to start off with, I think. Uh, because Zygarde can be really fat and just recover gradually. But um, I'm not sure is Azure's removal is fitting. It's weird. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a fan of Thousand Arrows plus plus three. Um But I do like the Necrozma. The it's just like, to me, it's just a collection of random mons that have been stuck together. But I almost feel like that's the type of draft that Bill excels with. Just random shit that really nobody thinks has any synergy. Although he does have a hidden tech um, for Tapu Bulu this season, which I wonder I wonder if we will see it. Well, I don't think it's the Tapu Bulu itself. No, it's not the Tapu Bulu itself. It's something that gets partnered with the Tapu Bulu, but I'm not... Yeah, I, I don't think we should. I don't think we should spoil it because then, if people know yeah. the tech, then people will. Um, yeah, true. If you know I, it, you I, know I it. Think, if you don't, I, you'll I find think, out. Yeah, I think I know the secret to this team. But um, I also know that Hitman Lee is actually uh, 11 points on this draft. Yeah. Well, it was valued nine points um, because of the top of Bulu. 
giving yeah. it uh, access to Grassy Seed Unburdened. Um, well, it, it wasn't really uh, Bill's... Um, how should I say this? Uh, it wasn't really Bill's intention to use Unburdened Hitbully. So he kind of um, gave him two points extra without really realizing it. Yeah. Um, and yeah, I, I agree with this being just a bunch of random mons, not really seeing what the purpose of each of the mons is. Um, Completely agree. Anything to say yeah, from you, Vic? Like, uh, when he drafted Tentra Cruel, that he wrote this stupid thing. <laughs> yeah, just calling the. Uh, the Cruel the... in, in Grassy Terrain is really good. Uh, this is something, this is some good synergy with it, yeah. Um, but I don't like how it's between 70 and 110 speed. Yeah, big, uh, big speed gaps. Is the um, highs or the lows? It's just the middle. I mean, Mega Kang sits there at 100, doesn't it? Everything is either uh, what, Righteous the Faster at 110, and the slower, I think. His Bastiodon. Yeah, it's yeah. Sorry, it's Bastiodon, but like after Bastiodon, it's Bolo. Yeah, the, the fastest, the, the fastest isn't slow. fast enough. The slowest is effectively too slow. Yeah. 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 Also, and, he, and he doesn't uh, have he doesn't have webs to make up for it or something. And his scarfers, I don't really see viable scarfers to be honest. I I mean Miss Miss Magius, but apart from that. Yep. Reckless or Hitmonlee is kind of okay to start from, but like... Also, we must mention that not only was Articuno drafted on both leagues, it's also a Z user in both leagues, which is stupid. It should never happen. Points, <laughs> points dump, really, isn't it? Articuno terrorizing. Yeah, absolutely. Well, yeah. It's other options to Raichu, which actually wouldn't have been a bad option, to be honest. Oh, yeah, it wouldn't. I choose much better than Articuno. Yeah. I oh don't well. Know. I mean, I mean, Bill is Bill, so. Who are we what to doubt the, uh, the 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 opinions of what Bill likes? Yeah. Right. Any final points on the Adelaide Honchcrow's random stuck together team? Bulldog. I'm, no, I'm no. pushing Bulldog. Continue. Bulldog. Yeah. Right. We'll see what it's gonna do. Great, moving on, we have the Atlanta Landorus, coached by Monster. Mega Charizard X, Skarmory, Florgis, Swampert, Virizion, Jolteon, Zoroark, Cafagrigus, Claydol, Ambipom, and Skuntank, with Virizion and Zoroark as the Z users. Um, yeah, pretty good team, actually, I think. <laughs> very, nicely, very nicely rounded out well budgeted full 12 months so you've got the maximum uh, amounts to prep and everything on that team actually requires prep it's not like you know yeah. 10 mons and an unmon um, i like this thing a lot actually i like how he drafted this man actually you know putting thought in budgeting his mons yeah you absolutely know, I, I, I could draft uh, like an expensive mon but like there's a lot of good stuff in the nines and six and you went for them, which is very respectful. Going to Skarmory, like I said, it's smart in this system. The yellow one is there. It's great compression. Um, yeah, you, you, you draft utility first. The one thing like that I don't want to see is like the teams end up a bit too passive, because like at your high tier, the, the most points monsters spent, there's only really Verizion and like Mega Charizard X and then Jolteon that really poses like consistent yeah. like damaging threats. Zoroark's good but I don't know how I feel about that mod in general yet. I feel like it's um... On paper Zoroark is better than in real in, in practice I think. Yeah. For, uh, at, at least for how what I have seen um, I've used it last season but I, I wasn't too impressed. It, it's a fun one to use and it has decent coverage. It can run physical and special, but it's it's a weird one to use. I don't know. 
the big benefit is obviously the mind games that you get out of it. Yeah, yeah. Um, but aside from that... does have good hazard control to help uh, mask the Zorg. Yeah. Because obviously um, uh, hazard damage can reveal it. Is your dead to give away, yeah. Yeah, um, Florges is a really good deep over also. Yeah. Yeah, he has uh, three... Well, four D4 Pacific Count Sword X as well. And he has uh, Claydol for spin. And he has Kovac as a spin blocker. And T Spice, etc. Well, yeah, so well, he has five. On the hazard department, department, he's really good. He's all set. Yeah. I think it's a very nicely well rounded team. I'm just a bit concerned over that high end power. What about you, Vic? Yeah. Any general thoughts? Not. I like the how, how it's really well balanced, but I also feel that it lacks something along the lines of a 14 point mod that just hits really hard. Yeah, that just smacks teams or something about. Like that. But I think that... if this team, I think if this team can be played really well, it shouldn't have much trouble. I think it comes down more to the coach than the squad itself at that point. And Sardex, Sardex is brutal in draft format. So good. Yeah, I mean, I would say that this is just pretty solid bulky offense with some good support, but maybe a bit too bulky offense, like nothing too offensive, I would say. Too much bulk, not enough offense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. maybe. The wrong side of bulky offense, I guess. Yeah, too much, too much bulky offense. More, more leaning towards too much bulk than yeah. offense, yeah. Any closing thoughts on that one? I think we've covered everything that needs to be said. The Z user choice is actually one thing that I'll 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 touch on um, before we before we move on. Um, Zoroark and uh, Veriz, two low tier choices at nine each. But again, I don't think he has very good high tier Z choices, which is maybe where that fourteen to fifteen point offensive mon would go. Just like one of those consistent Z users. Yeah. yeah. Something that gives in his draft, those were his only options. Yeah, pretty much. Excuse me. If it shows the Z users with this draft, it would it would have been those two. So that's all else. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Any any final final comments? No, nope. really. Great. Um moving on we have the Belgian Blastoise coached by Axel Raid. Uh, team of Cure and Black as a Z user, Infernape, Raikou, Mimikyu, Umbreon, Mega Steelix, Staraptor, Ribombi, Whiskash, and Blossom as the second Z user. Oh boy, that's deja vu. It's bad. Indeed. The top and bottom is exactly the same as, as yours, Beery. Um, yes. And the middle too, it has Infernape and Whiskash, which is a discount backfire. Pretty much. The um, web setter, which is also a fairy type. Oh yeah, Rabombi. <laughs> very similar, very similar drafts. Yeah, I must say. Um, general overall thoughts, anyone? How do you uh, feel his, about his it? Removal. His removal is Staraptor and Rebombi. Oh, man, what are you doing? Yeah, removal. Yeah, removal is really a struggle. Yeah. This is immediately. You have a cure in black. Please. You don't need removal like... if you kill the entire enemy team. If you win the game that quick, yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, that, that's his plan. That's it, except for Umbreon and Mega Steelix, the rest. And Wish Guess is whatever, and so is Bellatum. Yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about having such a low tier, bulky water and ground type rolled into one. Um, I suppose you've got coverage from Mega Steelix in the ground department, but I usually like my bulky waters to be pretty like mid to high tier. So like from the yeah. eight to the the eight to the you know thirteen, fourteen point range is where I'd pick a water type more than a two pointer. But um, I generally I generally don't know where to position this draft in terms of like how how good I think it'll do. I think if he plays uh, HO archetypes. You know, he can bust through a lot of squads very easily and use Infernape and Raikou to clean up. I feel like it struggles a lot more on balance because um, of the problems he'll have with removal. Kieran, Kieran Black destroys by Like, that's one thing he's going, that he has going for him. Mm -hmm. Like an Infernape basically says, screw balance. 
This, this is the kind of team that if you don't win by turn 20, you lose. Potentially. Yeah. That's awesome. You, you actually straight up quicker than someone to death. Like... The longer it goes, the harder it gets for you to I can win. actually, yeah. You run I can actually see him forced to be run by lots of some people. Hmm. Potentially, yeah. Has bad removal, so the combination of rocks, if rocks are up and someone starts spamming ground, it's bad. Really bad. Yeah, potentially. Yeah. Um Yeah, any other comments to make? I think we covered everything there. Mm, I think his spear are pretty decent. Say again, Sean, sorry. I think his uh, speed tiers are pretty decent. Yeah, he managed to uh, set up his speed tiers very nicely, I will agree. Good, yeah. And he also had like two quiver dances for some reason. Yeah, true. Or a Corio actually destroyed his team because he had two quiver dances and a dragon dance. It's a good job dance. nobody drafted so, them. Or a Corio has a hard counter. It's not it's not a good thing when you can say that Oricorico hard hard counters your draft, but Yeah. Uh if there's nothing if there's nothing else to add, uh we will push on to the Brighton Bewares team, coached by Evan. Um Tapu Lele, Como, Nihiligo, Kartana, Mandibuzz, Azelf, Seismitoad, Mega Camerupt, Glycopod, Emolga, and Clefairy. So this team was like really weird for me because like by i thought this would like evan was going to be like the j of blue division where he'd just be like a total points criminal and have to draft trash for like his for like a nine mon squad but to be fair despite like spending a lot of his points early um he's picked up some really good low value stuff you know enough to make it manageable i think for sure. Yeah, I agree. Um, Pretty nice at five points. It feels. I like the thing. It feels like um, Mandibuzz is going to be forced to come a bit. Otherwise, he's going he's going to maybe have problems with rocks. But then, that being said, a lot of his team isn't particularly weak to rocks in its own right. And as I was saying, like his team doesn't really struggle with rocks. Like, the only rock weak one is Mandibuzz itself, and Glyspot. Yeah, and the Mulga, but, like... The, the Clefairy will get more use this season than a Mulga will. Yeah. <laughs> but it's not gonna come. I mean, I do like uh, Mega Camerot. I mean, it's... For, for 5 points, it really does force your opponent to prep for it. Yeah. And Clefairy can be annoying, I guess, for 1 point. And Glyspot obviously has spikes and priority. So even though he did spend a lot of points in the beginning, I think he did a good job with... Like, he rounded it out spending, really well. Sp spending the rest of the remaining points, the few remaining points that he had. Yeah, um, also, yeah. I would like to add that Glyspot, uh, Emergency Exit is not a bad ability, it's just hard to use. People like to use Glyspot because of the ability being bad. It's it's not bad at all. It just it's a great momentum giver if you can get it to work in the right situation. Yeah, look, and, and he exactly, has yeah. amazing he has amazing uh, abusers of emergency exit. He has two uh, ultra beasts that can like single ice spot aqua jet somethings and then emergency exit out. He can go to Hileo or Kartana and start like really hammering the pressure or Lele or Como or Azov. There's there's so many mods that benefit from the ice spot. Really yeah. good, and I'm not sure if he did it on purpose or not. But like, it's actually something I would love to tell to use. On a... Yeah. I never used Gold Ice Pod before, but it's it's a one I actually like like it a lot. I would like to see uh, someone run Life Orb Gold Ice Pod. Just to get, <laughs> get self-proking. <laughs> Point one is actually red card Gold Ice Pod. <laughs> It is the ultimate check to uh, Vix Hope for you, like yeah, uh, <laughs> the hard count attack. Yeah, Ascartana is gross and yeah. potentially dangerous. Lele in general is irritating. 
I, I generally think like he's picked the best possible Z users, and I think despite the trouble like he thought he was going to have in drafting, he's ended up with a pretty well-rounded squad. Yeah, I, I really like it. There's no real problems overall, I think, with the team. By the way, for the people who didn't uh, watch the yellow division draft vid, um, one of the rules is that Tafulele can't be a Z user. So, yeah. Yep, so he couldn't have picked it even if he wanted. Although I do yeah. think, like, given the the versatility in the squad, even if Tapu Lele was Z user allowed, I think I'd maybe still take, like, Kart and Golisopod. Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, yeah, Katana is really, really solid. Yeah. Um, great. Any any final comments to make from anyone? Nope. Resounding silence is a no, then. Um... Right, we'll move on then. Next team, Detroit Terravolts, coached by Nacho. He has drafted the Tapu Koko as his Z user. Holucha, Victini, Blastoise, Delmise, Mega Agron, Zygarde 10%, Alolan Muk, Illumise, and Furfro. Uh, Illumise is the second oh, Z user. It's worth noting that Holucha was originally priced at 13, but gains a two point uh, tax due to being drafted alongside Tapu Coco for Coco Lucha Core. Disgusting. Disgusting core. Absolutely horrendous. Yeah, I, I don't like it. It's um, kind of hypocritical for me using it in um, Yellow Division last season. But um, I managed to get last uh, last place, so <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's not broken. Um, or I'm just bad, which is maybe more likely. I don't know. Um, <laughs> Calm down, man. No, no, don't mind me rambling. <laughs> um. Um, I don't know. This is a team that looks very good offensively, but I have a few like nitpick qualms with it, I guess you could say. Um, first things first, uh, rock setup is pretty limited. You've only got Mega Agron, Mega Agron capable of doing that. And that's it. And there's no spikes on there either. There's no toxic spikes on there either. And there's yep. no, 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 no anything. So your sole user, your sole um, rock setter is Mega Agron, and I don't think that's too great. My second qualm is actually with around Mega Agron itself. I don't think Mega Agron without Wish Pass is particularly great because Mega Agron likes to be fat and wall stuff and without wish support uh, outside of like a Lumise, which nobody nobody should be running a Lumise really outside of a couple of niche matchups um, um yeah i mean technically it's a wish faster and mega agron would appreciate it but yeah you would i'd have liked to have out, seen running in Lumise. so you'd be running five models yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. but yeah. one of them has five moves I think that Ilmai can legit go alongside Mega Agron, running Rest on Agro and uh, Aromatherapy on Ilmai, which is a lot more effective than passing wishes. Yeah, Agron. potentially. Yeah, but speaking of Rest, he has a Coco. Exactly, that's what I'm going to that, write. That's yeah. so. Yeah. And Coco is not the best combo. You like, you're really are hindering yourself by doing so. On the opposite side of the spectrum. Which you should do. On the opposite side of the spectrum, he's got two pretty solid removers in Blastoise and Delmise. And, of course, Defog Tapu Koko. Um, and Defog Lucha, for what it's worth. Although not much. Um, yeah. So I think his removal game is a lot more solid. Um, again, Blastoise would be another one that appreciates that sort of kind of reliable recovery. But there's really not much you can do about it. Um, I don't know. It's a weird squad. I rate... Coco Lucha plus Victini pretty highly. I like the defense. Is a monster. Yeah, for sure. I like the defenses with Agron, um, Blastoise, and Delmise, and I like the the DD Zygarde ten percent in the back or Choice Band or whatever you want to run. Um, I just really think that you lack uh, in hazards, and hazards are a big part of any singles meta game. Yeah, you know, I think that summarizes this draft well. Yeah, think so. Uh, so, anything, anything else to say, or? 
I mean, I do like Alone and Mock a lot. A yeah, I, really I like one. that a lot. I think um, I think it's potentially one of the best poison types overall. Yeah, um, for sure. And an excellent pursuit trapper. Um, yeah, with loot is, is on blue division, although it's very bad on yellow. People like wording the fairies. Yeah. Not really sure how bad it is because th they seem like Agrum special a lot by fairies, and a lot of them run fire slash fighting covert. All Agrum's gonna be able to stop the fairies because if Agrum goes down, fairies have a few days. I mean, I mean, I mean Muck can kind of like do well against fairies, but. Uh, yeah. Should uh, recycle slash figgy berry gluttony but be considered reliable recovery? I don't think so. Yeah, I also agree. Um, right, shall we uh, head on over to the next team? Yep, sure. All right, we have the Flint Tropius. Tropius? Tropius? Tropius. I would say Tropius. Flint Tropius. Tropius. Um, no one say tropius. Yeah, tropius is weird. That, that sounded weird in my own head. I don't know why I said it like that. Flint Tropius, coached by Shiny Spam. Uh, Garchomp as the, as a Z user. Mew, Rotom Wash, Crobat, Decidueye, uh, Alolan Persian, Lycanroc Midday, Simiseer, Munchlax, and Mega Marwile overall. Wow. Reading yeah, that out loud, th this is a power team. <laughs> Yeah, yeah this, really. this team is really strong. Except for Munchlax. Like, how to do that? Dude, have you seen Munchlax stats? Don't underestimate that thing for one point. Like, seriously. I, I haven't. Go, go, I just, haven't. just take a quick peek at Munchlax's stats. They are not bad. Especially when you consider it holds Eviolite. 135 HP? What the hell? Yeah, mad, isn't it? How crazy oh, is that? And with 85 special defense and the Violite, it's actually a disgusting special tank. Yeah. I mean, 40 oh. defense isn't even that bad. Well, I mean, you need max investment and the Violite to uh, to make it workable, but you do have options in Curse as well, so it's certainly not yeah. bad by any means. It's usable for one I... point. Hmm. Yeah, it's very decent. Yeah, can we talk about the guards on new for? Yeah. Just... You take the lead on it by all means, Vic. Uh, Garchomp, Mew, and Mega Mowal together like destroy anything. There's no switching into that. I, it's also incredibly versatile as well, which makes it incredibly hard to, um, you know, to to deal to deal with. You know that like you, Garchomp and Mew can both run offensive and defensive sets. Mega Mowal to an extent, you always know what it's going to be. Um, you just have to know whether it's going to be like SD um, sweep or whether it's going to be breaking your team down. Um, but all three of those like options have. Yeah. yeah that's true. Into Moel. Crobat, Rotom Wash, Decidueye, Persian. All really support that. I really don't have a lot bad to say about this. The removal's great. Um, rocks from Mew and Garchomp aren't bad at all. Um, Mew doesn't particularly like to run them in Gen 7 due to having a more offensive role, but you do have Lycanroc Midday in the back that can do it. Yeah. <clears throat> It's a well planned and thought out draft. Genuinely. And it's really good. I think it's probably one of the best in blue. Indeed. Can't, can't that. Yeah, I agree. It's really strong. It has very little flaws. Obviously yeah, like maybe the one downside is Simis here, but it's not yeah, that bad. I mean it's two points. I don't know. Yeah, you're not going to get much better in the two-point category, really. No, not really. And he was liking a fire type, and you know, for a two-point, you can be much better. It's 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 good work. It, it, it still can run like nasty plot and like flamethrower. Yeah, it's actually damage. a pretty good value. I remember um, in another draft, I was contemplating on crafting Shimishage, the grass one, mm -hmm. and it actually has a decent move pool and. Like 101 speed isn't bad, so yeah, not bad at all. I, I dig it. Great. So, it's, yeah. It also can take with like taunt and toxic. Like it gets taunt. It's a fast taunt user, which are rare. We use it ex usually expensive. Yeah. 
Yeah, really, really solid crab. Great. Something uh, I would be comfortable using. Oh yeah, for sure. It's it's got the versatility to run pretty much every type of arc archetype bar stall really. You know, you could run yep. this HO, uh, bulky offense, even semi stall to an extent, I suppose. Um, but you'd require like a lot of rest users and like roads and wash with paint split, etc. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's a viability. Healer and Decidueye can have reliable re healing. Yeah. So they can do enough. Um, and he always has uh, Z boarding shot. Oh yeah, from Persian. Uh, Persian again, a, a viable user. Yeah. Like. Yeah. I agree. So yeah, I, th I think good. he's. I think he's got everything completely right with this draft, and I'd be very surprised if this team wasn't to go far um, in blue division. Like I think to not make the top six to make playoffs would be a, a pretty big disappointment for Shiny. Yeah, it'd be surprising. Mm -hmm. With this squad, yeah, for sure. Um, yep. Right. Any final comments to make? Nope. Mm, nope. Right. Uh, I'm going to stop asking now. <laughs> um, right. Next team, the Golden State War Turtles, coached by Adam. Uh, Jirachi, Togekiss, Gudra, Mega Blastoise, Serena, Nidoqueen, Blaziken, Zapdos, and Dusknoir. Uh, um, he has the bench core and he has <laughs> those. And that's about so... all it's getting credited with. Um, yeah. Also, this team is like really slow and fast. Like the fastest mod is 100. Yeah, and this and this lowest is like okay, if you discount the score, it's the arena or the actually Google. Uh, Gudra is 80. Gudra is 80, it? Serena's 72, so it is Serena. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah it's Serena, sorry. So, yeah. yeah. I like Bill's draft, but worse. <sighs> I, don't, I don't know, I don't know what to think. It's like, a, it's like a draft that's completely stuck in the middle. Obviously, like, Flinchcore and Scarf, Serene Grace bullshit works to patch up the speeds a bit, but, man. Do I just hate the fact that everything's so clumped together? Yeah. I have aversion to flinching, so... <laughs> hey, I hate this man, because I, I hate all the mons he drafted, except Zapdos and Jirachi. I mean, I, I'm quite I'm quite uh, partial to Gudra. I think Gudra is very versatile. Uh, I really like Gudra too, and Nidoqueen. Mega Blastoise again is very good at what it does. Um, he doesn't I seem think... to have... I mean, two rock setters, I guess, is okay with this squad in Nidoqueen and Jirachi. Uh, yeah. Defog and removal is pretty good in general between Togekiss, Blastoise, Serena, Zapdos, Blaziken. So he's got probably one of the best removal games in the division. But man, like, just the speed here is just. Ugh. Ruin this it team also for me. He likes a bit of power. Like something yeah. that really destroys. Like, you bring it and you say, okay, now where's your suit team? You're pretty much relying on like sheer force, life orb, Nidoqueen queen to be your big damage breaker, or like Mega choice Blast bandit, blaziken, or specs togekiss. Mega blaster is a decent enough breaker. He got the coverage he needs. He has the mega launcher. Yeah. yeah. And those very reliable so on like Oops. choice specs and choice bandit to break. And don't forget Zapdos having one twenty-five special attack. Yeah. Also very it's usable. Very as, as long as you run like offensive um, EVs and nature and stuff, you can yeah. uh, you can dent teams. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, in general, it's um, not not an impressive team. Yeah, I think that's the the best summary for it. There's not much left to say, so we'll 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 move on to. Uh, uh, the Houndoom Hercules, coached by our very own Vic, who's in call with us, and yeah, he has on. my body's ready. <laughs> he has opted to draft Megalopony, Hooper Unbound, Zera Aura, Scizor, Drudigon, Granbull, Sandslash, Celebi, and Volcanion, with the Z users being Hooper Unbound and Sandslash. So, I've I've been hovering around you, Vic, for. 
quite a few years, I think, since I joined DSL. the old school um, DSL. So I can tell by this draft you've taken a fair few comfort picks and picks that you greatly enjoy. Lopany, uh, Sandslash, Scissor, I want to say. Um, uh, I've actually, this is the first time I use them, actually. All right. Um, but it, it, it feels a very you draft. Um, removal. The removal is fairly, is, is what I call fairly questionable, being stuck between Scizor and Sandslash. But your um, rocks game is very well, good. Canyon also has the by the way. Volcanion yeah. is not a defogger. <laughs> let's not <laughs> let's not pretend like it is. This is the same argument um, that like Fundy yeah, T uh, is a defogger. The reason why Volcanion is not a defogger is because it's not even a Pokemon. Like Volcanion is actually <laughs> trash. Like, I don't know. Show, showing those, I have this beef with another guy in the league. Like I actually think Volcanion is probably one of the worst Pokemon. It's a lot better in the point system because it's much cheaper. But, like, at, 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 a, at a tier 1, or even at a tier 2, I question its value. Yeah, maybe. It's this low fire type, and I hate slow fire types. Unless you're like a blaze or something. Do what it has to do. Um, but yeah, the rock... Like, Zelda be uh, Volcano for a long time, and I decided to screw it. It's uh, my personal beef against Volcano, and you don't have, like, really good uh, removal. Legit, see you not you you not playing volcano in many games because you don't need to break that much stuff. You already have Hopa and Rope, and you don't really need volcano unnecessary in most games unless you face the guy with Suicune, so you want the water absorbed or something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, can, I can see. I can get behind just, that argument. Um, straight up ditch defog. Like people overvalue removal. Like, when your team, it's not really necessary at all. Unless you face the guy with, uh... It's yeah, Spikes, T, Spikes, Webs. Yeah. T, Spikes destroy your team. T, Spikes yeah, is a problem, a... but you can run yeah, Scissor for those. It's grounded. And Granbull, you know. Get that. You know, but my man d didn't decide, didn't go with that, with that tech, with the, uh, with the Z Granbull tech so you know what, what can i, I mean, say you couldn't you couldn't afford both who by you and no, I, couldn't, I couldn't afford you but you should have seed you your scissor <laughs> see scissor okay <laughs> <laughs> uh, i'm just kidding um offensively i really like the draft defensively i think you struggle a little bit more but if, if you're more comfortable playing with a, an offensive archetype i really don't think that'll be a problem um so I get out of my comfort zone with this this draft. I didn't want to do the typical thing of please see Latios superior. Yeah. This thing is hyper office to the max, like Celebi and Dronagon. Yeah, I for sure. sure hits. So you gotta win you gotta win matches fast, which I respect a lot. Like as far as entertainment go, your matches are gonna be fast and lose and a lot of blood of music, which I like. But like you gotta play smart. I, I for for us can't play these kind of teams. They require too much skill, too much doubling, too much prediction. <laughs> bad at those. <laughs> prove me wrong. No, no. I prove myself wrong once I get like last place. I don't know. I'm very interested to see how you play with this squad. Um, yeah. Any Please. any further comments from anyone? Vic, anything to bring up with your squad that you want us to know about? Okay then. It's a secret. Oh, that's the that's Wait. the correct answer. Wait. Keep those strats hidden from the public. Right, I suppose we'll move on to the next person who is funnily enough also in this call. Yeah. Showing it's your turn. Um Heracross Armello have chosen to draft Clefable, Latios, Mega Gyarados, Roserade, Swellow, Steelix, Electabuzz, Darmanitan, Trevenant, Hitmonchan, and Minior. Wow. Pretty jam-packed squad. You're another one that's taken the full 11 route. Uh, uh, yeah, as I said uh, before, it uh, it wasn't originally planned to be an 11-month draft. 
um, because he got sniped off uh, Kofagrigus and hit on top, right. um, which you will see in the following drafts. <laughs> um, but um, <laughs> I think Trevenant ended up being a decent replacement for Kofagrigus. Um, it gave me a spin blocker, which I liked, and also a ground resist. Um, because I obviously have Rosewit as my other grass type that does isn't the ground resist because it's poison type. Yeah. Um, and then hit and Chan as like a replacement of hit on top. Um, I just liked spin and I originally wanted uh, hit on top for two points extra because intimidate is really nice. Um, but yeah, I had to settle with Hitman Chan and I'm excited to see what it can do for the team. Um, it also gave me some priority, which I liked. And then at the end, I had points to spare, and I was like, "Hey, Minior is there?" And I mean, it gave me a rock type and also a very potent uh, offensive threat, and also an extra rock shatter, um, yep. which the Fable and uh, the Sea Steelix uh, appreciate. So um, yeah. That's basically the end of my draft explained. <laughs> and um, yeah, at the beginning I um, I didn't really know where to start because we had obviously the budget of 105. And I was like, I don't really feel like I want to spend a lot of points on one mon. So I just went with a very solid um, fairy and dragon in yeah. Clefable and Radios. Clefable Lati is the starting point, I think. Yeah. For my yeah. for for what I had to say, I think that's a really solid. When I comment on Clef Ladios. Yeah, solid balance core to take, and I, I like that about your squad as a whole is that you manage to keep a balanced enough squad that you can both push to hyper offense if you need, and also remain like balanced to bulky offense where where necessary as well. Yeah. Um, Roserade spikes along with Hitmonchan, I completely agree, is is excellent as well to have. Even if Hitmonchan isn't uh, fantastic, I think um, I think just taking taking what you could get is better than having no spin at all. Um, yeah. Although. Yeah, I, mean, I, I think this draft um, kind of shows what I'm comfortable with. Um, it's like bulky offense, but like with enough versatility. Um, I think that's also the main issue I had last season, which I um, kind of drafted a sort of hyper offense team with some really passive mons, which ended up working horribly. So, yeah, I think I will be much more comfortable with this. Yeah. And now I'm curious to see what Fury and Vic have to say about this. Yeah, take the floor, either one of you. I mean, I'm a little biased. I helped you draft. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, shout out to Beer. Uh, shout out to Beer. Larios is like saying it's a solid core, it's an understatement in my eyes. That's the standard auras OU core that it does everything. It has rocks, removal status, offensive pressure, Relios, defensive pressure. Clef, Clef can run unaware, can run magic guard, the broken mod. I win condition. They're both they're both like, excellent win conditions, yeah, Vic. Summarized that pretty well, I think there. Like every single one of these Pokemon can pressure in some way except for Hitmon Hitmonchan. Like Travenant can always be annoying, even if it's Z user. Like Show and Stock to me, it has like dig for some reason. It actually has some weird coverage. It's gotta get its roots into the ground somehow, man. Come on. Yeah. That's what ingrains for. A tree should not be able to use dig. <laughs> uh, Mega Gyarados is you now a setup sweeper alongside Minior, which I think Minior actually was, you know, better in my eyes in not drafting it and going Hitmonchan and Cofagagus because we already have T spikes uh, with Roserade, which by the way is my new found love in the, the format. It's very underrated. Oh, yeah. Technician I'm Hidden Power really is on. really good. Like, Technician Hidden Power is all the coverage you need. Uh, fun fact, Roserade actually has the strongest hidden power in the game if you don't count hidden power steel and hidden power fighting from Mega Lucario. Which you shouldn't count because Lucario should never run hidden power steel or hidden power fighting. 
But anyway, a uh, high speed mod that doesn't need setup, you slap the specs on it and can win late game. Like, the team has pretty much everything. It has like the buzz, which is actually also a value rated. For a 3.1, it's actually stupid. Yeah. It's strong. I think it's very powerful. Violite, bulky. Does a lot. Motor drive, so it would be an uh, electric unit. But okay, it's for 12 resist. I think overall, excellent and, versatility you know, in the draft. Then it's like the Mega Man School of Stupidity. Uh, it doesn't have a switch in the game. <laughs> I, I really like fire types that don't have switches. Darman, Choice Blade Darman and Two Hit Kill Sweeping. It should never happen. Yeah, there are some things that should be illegal. And that's one of them. Yeah, that actually should be a crime. Just needs a bit of a speed buff now. So cool. Like I said, take my take my comment to the grain of salt. It's wrapped it all. I'd show him, I was like, okay. And they can give you your opinions, unbiased opinions. <laughs> we accept, I'm not a fan of Mega Gerald in general. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm, right. sure, I'm actually not sure myself if I like it on this team. But um, I, it, it's just a mon that I really wanted to try out. And yeah, I can respect uh, that. To be fair, I don't have any other water type other than Mega Gyarados. So it might be pressured in that regard. So that's that's why that's I said I don't really know how well it fits on this team, but we'll see. Yeah, for sure. Alright, yeah, I mean... I really like, in general, the top of this draft are really good. Like Clefable, Latios, Roserade, Manitan, they're great. Basically, you can cover everything with those ones. Yeah, it's all right. Either Thanks. like extra power or extra versatility. Yeah, all right. I think everybody's had their say on the uh, Showen's draft. So we'll move on to the Ladna Lantern, coached by Electricity or Ian, depending on what he likes to be referred to as. Um, so he has drafted Mega Alakazam, Buzzwall, Donphan, Bishop, Aloma Momola, Comfey, Miltank, Dragalge, Vicavolt, Tangler, and Salazzle. Z uses, he has picked uh, Vicavolt and Tangler. Odd. Oh, no, wait, and Bishop sure. as well. My bad. Um, I didn't notice Bishop. It's getting late. I would have gone with Buzzwall instead of Bishop, but sure. Bishop. Yeah, I, th I think Bishop would have been a better... Uh, but I think Buzzwall would have been a better over cho overall choice than Bishop. Um, I think I agree. Generally? Yeah. I think this is like... Your, pretty, your, your relatively standard balance draft. You know, you've got your, your dedicated wars. You've got your relatively strong attackers. Um, you've got your fast sweepers in Mega Alakazam. That's going to force Scarfers. We we talked about this oh, in the you other. You got your fast sweeper in Mega Alakazam, and I guess a Lazo. Yeah. yeah and you force good. a lot of Scarfers between those two, which is a point we talked about in the in the Yellow Division cast. Um, yeah, this team for sure forces a lot of Scarfs. The one the one kind of sub optimization I'm not a huge fan of is the is is bishop i feel like if you're going to draft bish then you want to get like webs or spikes things that force defog more than just your standard rocks because you really want to be able to pressure um yeah with defiant with the with the defiant yeah yeah and i do believe he only has three rock shadows yeah i mean three isn't too bad but one of them is bishop itself so well i mean um I watched the, um, his video, his draft analysis, and he actually named his Bishop Ring Webs, please. <laughs> Webs, I guess, this team. Like, the. the through, okay, uh, I like Zem and Salazzo, fine. Like, Zem is so fast in a way that Webs barely matter. Frail, and you can deal it with Scarfers easily, because it doesn't have priority or anything. And the rest of his team is like. Base 80 speed, everything is base 80 speed, except for like Comfy and Mutank, where are base 100. 
Yeah. And the really slow stuff like Galaxy Heat and Dinkago. Yeah, there's definitely so, a couple of like, sub optimizations. Eves is he has two fast ones and then a bunch of slow stuff that can be easily dealt with. In my eyes, except for a Lomomola, which never dies. It's very manageable. What another like sub optimization I've noticed is that he still has like four total points remaining at the end of this draft, and I really think that he'd benefit from upping um, one of these lower tier points mons to like a like a, a, a to fleshing out his speed tier with a with a higher tier hard hitter, and then sort of making it up the typings further down the line. Um, you know, there's plenty. I think there's still. A fair few good like budget dark types that you can take. Um, I just realized Suicune was one the undrafted blue, which is a crime. It should never happen. Well, I mean, you know, you could cancel blue division. It's people sleeping. I mean, blue division is still better than yellow, so ouch. I don't care. That's true. <laughs> You're not supposed to support him in that, Barry. Maybe that's why I should be yellow, but for some reason I'm blue. <sighs> <laughs> right, <laughs> it's okay. Um, the other, yeah, the really other. Salazzle. I used Salazzle in the BCL, and it's great. I I've Two got things. a fondness for Salazzle, um, and I think it's good value at ten points. Uh, it's yeah, got very good versatility sure. between being able to run choice items and nasty plot and even like um there's like a very niche sub disable set i think it runs oh yeah, and also and, and, the best. It's and also its good. corrosion ability is really good as well yeah. for running toxic and stuff like that yeah i agree um but to be honest more. how often is it gonna poison a steel type i mean it's obviously can poison a poison type as well yeah which i think like, is maybe more ideal but poison yeah. fire is a very strange typing to find a switch for um yeah that's true absolutely uh, the other yeah. thing that is really cool to me is trace alakazam mega alakazam um if you can catch somebody uh, with a good ability that zam could be uh, become a big threat very quickly forces uh, quite a bit of prep. Yeah, especially uh, abilities like Beast Boost or oh, maybe yeah. even Regenerator can be very annoying. Because if it traces Beast Boost, um, then like you can't just sack a mon to bring your Scarfer in. Because if it's um... it's yeah, if it's speed boosting, then like how are you gonna revenge it? <laughs> yeah, it becomes a very big problem. So, in other words, bring priority. Basically. <laughs> <laughs> Too much. It's also a problem when I have with this team. Priority is re reserved to Confi, which is eh. Okay, fine. Draining Kiss and Giga Drain. Uh, well, I mean, fine. Bishop gets Stab Bishop? Sucker, and Donphan's got Ice Ice Shard. Yeah, that's yeah. fine. But like, decent priority. I don't think priority is that important. But when you when you draft like Mega Zan, which is a mod that get rid of opposing priority you should prioritize it more yeah fair enough any further comments to be honest my team only has one mon with priority i would say in hitmonchan but i don't think well. it's all that important if you have a good speed to distribution obviously it's nice on big powerful sweepers but yeah fair point yeah I think it definitely comes into play a lot more if your speed tiers are lacking. Yeah, I think so too. So, free, free information for Ian. Remember to always run uh, 204 special attack EVs on your Akazam so you can get speed while you trace speed boost. <laughs> okay. That's the real tech. Yeah, that's the real tech. I'm questioning why... Like, I was looking at the, t at the draft table. Mm -hmm. Why he has... Tangela, when Venusaur is undrafted. He wants a ground like... switching. That's also possible. I mean, probably because of Psychic Spam, but he has a buy shard, so... Eh, fair. Yeah, Better than Tangela? Yeah, like one of the best. 
Uh, if Violet Tangela actually tanks a bandit flare bits from um, uh, Ente, oof, it's it's bulky as fuck. There's no way. Any what? Stop. If Violet Tangela tanks a bandit so fast, so fast bandit Ente, just noodles of steel, man. Yeah. <laughs> Noodle boy. Don't don't. I'll immediately boy. shut up. Holy Wild. Shit. Right. Amazing. Shall we shall we head over to the next team? Yes. Yep. Right, next up we have the new Britain Rock Ruffs coached by Diet Tight. Uh his team consists of Mega Gallade Tornados. Uh, spelling mistake <laughs> in the uh, in the in the draft sheet. Tornados T. Milotic, Galvantula, Fortress, Tangrowth, Slurpuff, Paloswine, and Moltres. Intriguing team. Quite quite like it actually. I think it's got a good bit of everything. Yeah, I'm I'm curious how uh, Tornadoes does. I haven't seen him unused at all. <laughs> um, I I don't really know when this has been released, but uh... <laughs> it's the evolution of Tornadoes. I um, guess. Why but yeah. it gets messy when we need to ban it. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm I'm quite a big fan of this team overall. His speed tiers are pretty nicely spaced out towards the top end. There's like that huge middle gap though, I think. You know that space where Orlando T just sits and runs adamant nature. Nah, 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 motor is there. Eh, okay, fair enough. Um, Z users, Galvantula and Moltres, questionable choices. Do we think? I think so, if you've got a Tornados. Like, personally, I'll just remove Moltres and add Kylo Flame, but that's just my own personal bias. <laughs> nah, they're um, different mods. They're, 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 they're different mods. They cover, they do different stuff. I certainly think... You know what? Uh, they don't... Flame wins. I th really well. I think... Well, I mean, then you really would have the problem of that, like, speed gap, wouldn't you? But... That's the point. The team, the team feels pretty specially biased at the minute. Like your phys main yeah, physical really attackers does. are Piloswine, Slurpuff, and Mega Gallade. So really, just like Mega Gallade. And but, Explosion Fortress. Yeah, if we're talking yeah. about like Explosion Fortress, please. not real mons. Um, <laughs> I really, I really like Web Spin. Fortress is obviously like one of the best and most reliable spinners. If not one of the most reliable, at least defensive spinners in the game. Um, and plus, yeah. it's like Skarmory Light without recovery and the fact that it gets all of the hazards. I think it. Does it literally get all of the hazards? Does uh, it get. get webs. Um, it gets the other thing. Oh, well, yeah. webs, webs are kind of like a weird one. But it gets all the damaging hazards in yeah. terms of toxic yeah, spikes, 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 and rocks. Spikes and, uh, yeah. All right. yep. and he's got webs. Wish uh, past through. Which is nice. Yeah. That is something I never saw before in draft format. What's that, sorry? I haven't seen that thing. Oh, right. Um, like, Starbuff and Galvantula. Yeah, double web setter. Strange. Um, I think he could have maybe picked... I think maybe Slurpuff was just there to be a fairy type. It's obviously a fairly important thing that he needs. No dragon, though? How do we feel about that? Um, uh, I don't, I don't think the like dragon, dragon is a necessary type. <laughs> I think we were trying to say the same. Yeah, it sounded that way. Um, I'm not sure. Yeah. I really like dragon types, just because they have like 18 resistances. Yeah, true. I do yeah, like yeah. it about dragon type. But it isn't as as um, critical to a team as a steel type or fairy type. Or I think he's covered all of the necessary covered. types, and he's got a good range. He of... has my logic for fire, uh, fortress for grass, and electric. So he has the, the covers covered. I think he's so I he think did. he's solid on those yeah, on those fronts. Uh, covered. That's for sure. So good offenses, good bulk. Good utility. What can, more can you ask for, really? The only thing I'd say is like, Moltres and Galvantula combination is easily trumped by Tornadoes plus Unmon, or just Tornadoes on its own. Yeah, I guess. 
I mean, I don't, I don't even really get the Moltres pick in general. I, he already has a flying type in Tornadus, and like he adds a very stealth rock weak mon. Man's just playing his respects to the league, you know. I guess, Got a, I guess. Given the ultimate the, uh, plus rep. If I were him, I would probably drop Moltres for like a, a Pokemon that you can see together with Tornadus, and then see Tornadus plus. The mon you dropped or got instead. There of is the one mon. thing called bird spam. Yeah, it's yeah, a mon. <laughs> but when your bird spam is just hurricane and it's not in rain, playing with fire. <laughs> yeah. Why you get talonflame? Uh... Okay, so what you're saying is drop Moltres for talonflame. And... That's pretty yeah, much all he's saying. Just to make me happy. <laughs> <laughs> Right. I, I have been forbidden by God to talk about Moltres, so let's move on. All right. So next up, we have the New Jersey Houndoom, coached by Local Ghoul. Uh, Tornado Therian as his first E user. Tapu Fini, Ferrothorn, Latias, Venusaur, Mega Houndoom, Sork, Torkoal, Maynectric, Sourcebook, and Aerodactyl. The full tel I, 12 draft. I believe we just talked about Tornadus. Uh, did I say Lander. Tornadus? Is it Land... Yeah, sorry, I did I say... Did. Okay, it's a Landorus T. My B. Yep. My bad. It's no late, problem. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, it, it is indeed. Um, right, okay. Anyway, now that that's corrected. Um, very versatile draft. He's got the very solid um, Fairy Dragon Steel. Even if it is a little on the, uh, the the bulkier side and there's not much offense going on there, but when you've got a Landorus T, that's not the biggest of deals. A lot of good low value picks, in my opinion. Mainetric for five, Sork for six. Sork is really good for six. Like, really good. Um, and like then. Two is not bad. Yeah, Saw's book, depending on what. I, I don't even know what that mom does, to be honest. Uh, <laughs> he's got that random Sun Core. Of Torco Venusaur sat in there. Here's, so, here's what that, that mon does. It has Serene Grace and uh, Secret Power. Like, uh, sorry, Nature Power. Oh, uh, okay. Fair enough. It's As a Z user, it's actually not bad because it gets like a bunch of stupid shit that shouldn't get, like Shadow Ball, uh, Mega Horn. Wow. Wow, so it's actually, it's actually a crazy good Z pick. So. Okay. Also for Z flying, it's actually not bad at all. Okay. I drafted it once and it actually destroyed some some people. It actually it has Sap Zipper too, as a grass immunity and a ghost immunity. He's got okay, that. To to respect the salt book. Okay. People salt book. He can't destroy you. It has base 100 attack. With, I think it I has access to Swords Dance. It might do. And oh. Nantify speed, so it's not that too slow. Fair enough. Seems like a very solid uh, two pointer. Uh, he's got the he's got the sun aided by Mega Houndoom, so he's managed to incorporate his uh, his mascot pick in there very nicely. Um, yeah. And the Slotbook has chlorophyll too. So. Oh wow! So he's actually got a very good sun offense potentially. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay. I can I can get behind this squad a lot. I what I don't really like about the fact that he has sun is that um, he has a Ferrothorn as well. Oh yeah, hardly and helping the Ferrothorn out there. Also a Tapofini, and when the sun is up, I feel like Tapofini can sort of get walled by Steel types. Ah, uh, because of the called, yeah, because of the I mean, water it's called, it's called obviously wood risk to burn, but like the terrain itself prevents the burn. So yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about that. They got an issue because it can run Nature's Madness and just run through the Yeah, thing. Nature's Madness can be used to chip down steel, so it's not the end of the world, but it is suboptimal, I feel. Um, yeah. yeah, for sure. But yeah, I think it's two good offensive components. You've got that nice balanced core. Landorus T is obviously the biggest threat in the game, regardless. I like it. I can dig this squad a lot. Yeah. And oh. all the hazards, except for, except for T spikes. Um, ground is poison there. Reliable rockers, a bunch of, uh, I mean, he has a bunch of reliable defoggers. It's not much and, to hate uh, on, really. Just maybe yeah, a bit suboptimal in sun, but you don't always have to bring sun. Speed tiers are de very good, decent enough for me. Yeah. Body I mean, he has, he has 130 with Aerodactyl, 
And then he has 115, I think, for Mega Hydra. And then 110 for Latias. 105 in Patrick. 95 Saws book. Yeah, he's got he's got his speed tiers very very well organized. Yep. You know what, Loco? Excellent job. Excellent job. I cannot fault this team. Alright. All right. Let's uh, go into the next team then I guess. <laughs> Nimrod Ninetales, Coach Zach T. Oh good. The one and only. This will be fun. Right. Greninja, Kyurem, Espeon, Nidoking, Klefki, Raichu, Mega Sharpedo, Talonflame, Hitmontop, Acelgore, and Go Goat. Alolan Raichu. Yes, Alolan yeah. Raichu, my bad. Yep. So... Uh, Z uses our Z uses our Greninja and Raichu. Yeah. <sighs> my man really decided that he wasn't gonna take anything above fourteen points and just decided he was gonna. <laughs> He was gonna uh, take everything from tier two to <laughs> tier two to three, really. In essence, yeah. weird squad. Don't know how I feel about it, and I'm not sure I like it at all. I think I think it's a pretty bad draft. If, if I... Why does he have Grenadier and Teleplane? I don't know. He's Why? that season in the DSL. That's the core I run, and it's really good. Especially if you put slap the Zim of Raichu on Talonflame. That's it. Incredible core, like the cleanup crew. And the thing is, he had the point so, spare to do that. Yeah. yeah, he could have easily Z Talonflame and Greninja, but he chose Raichu instead, which is very questionable for me. <sighs> With Z Talonflame, you can you can use Z Brave Bird, and then you don't lose health, so you can. Yeah. A lot of spikes yeah, stack on this squad. Z Talonflame is too bad. It's good. I agree. Just explain it. Just. A lot of spike stack on this squad and a spinner, so you know, credit where it's due for that. Um, yeah. Rockers are, o are okay, I guess. No, wait. No, they're not. Nidoking. It's just Nido King. No, yep. that's terrible. <laughs> um, <laughs> Espeon is a hazard mm. deterrent on the other end. Nido King okay. isn't a bad rocker because it's forced to switch it. So it's yeah, bad when bad. it's the only rocker. Yeah. Forced to run rock, it's pretty bad. Um, Main but, issue is that he has both Greninja and Mega Shopido. Yeah, two um, offensive water type, two water and dark types. Who needs what, water spam? Why but have? Maybe... Yeah, yeah, go on, Vic. Sorry. Saying that I don't know what Mega Shopido adds to the team. Like you've already got cleanup, you've already got pri um, stuff like priorities. You don't really need that speed boost, and you're forced to make a first turn. I think yeah. that this situation came about because Zach didn't bother to read the rules um, and didn't know that Megas were mandatory. So then I mean, panicked and took a Mega Sharpedo. Mega Sharpedo kind of does give him a physical wall breaker. Um, I mean, I guess Nidoking could be physical and he obviously also has Talonflame. But other than that, his physical offense isn't that great. Um, actually, Greninja can run physical as well, but... It's that water um, and dark spam would be so much better with uh, uh, Mega Medicham or something aggressive physical that doesn't need to I think just because... anything from the higher tiers would benefit this team, but, you know, he didn't want to... He didn't want to listen, so... Let the man draft what he's, he's comfortable fine. with. Yeah. I, I mean... Water types are cool. good to have, but if neither of them uh, are broken... I feel like he lets... Hello? Oh. Hello? Go on, Vic. Oh. I think we confused a bit. I think you so, cut uh, out a bit. Can you repeat, Sean? I didn't... Yeah. Uh, Vic, Vic, you cut out like you were talking and you just cut out for like five minutes. Sorry. Yeah, so what, <laughs> what were you about to say? Go ahead, just repeat yourself. Uh, I was going to say that this team, in my opinion, lacks something like. You'd say, how do I prep for this? Like Kieran Black. Like, yeah. But I feel this. I'm on that. Immediate power. Has no switch in. Yeah. Because like, and I, I don't agree with like Espion and like Shu Alola. I don't. <laughs> I don't agree with this draft in general. <laughs> <laughs> but what is just mean, like... drafted Kieran but forgot to add black to it. <laughs> <laughs> he 
Yeah, potentially. There's no such, there's no such thing as uh, round two turn of black. Yeah. <laughs> put put a white out. behind it. Wait, then has Kiro and Black power drafted in blue? Yeah. Has it? The guy who has my team uh, by Axel Raid. Oh yeah, Axel oh, yeah, Raid has true, yeah. it. We covered that yeah. way early. Yeah, true. I don't know. I'm not a fan. Fix your team, Zach. <laughs> Anything else? Just great as get a good rocker. Like, something like Tyrantrum. Something like punches people in the face really hard without setup. Yeah, I can agree with that. It actually did the team really well. And maybe change your Z-Mon to Talonflame. That's... yeah. And get a bulky water. That too. And drop Mega Sharpedo. Around. Whose name rhymes with Kun. <laughs> god, yeah. Oh god. <laughs> Why did people... Oh god. It's mega I, feel, I feel offended. By people he has two rest. points as well, which I feel like if he was just to trade in one Mon, like, he could easily make that up to get Suicune. It's a shame Mega Blastoise has been drafted, otherwise you could pick it up. Yeah, that could be a Instead potential. Of, uh, Shafido, but it's a shame when trade. Mega Blastoise is it's right. a terrible one. Enough, I'm yeah. sure he's fed up of, I'm sure he'll be fed up of hearing us go on for this long about how yeah, much right. Right. we dislike right. his team. Um, Zach, shall we... prove us wrong. Yeah, prove us wrong, although I heavily doubt it. Right, moving on, final team. Toronto Tyranitars, coached by Blitz, Celesteela, Manaphy, Sylveon, Weavile, Incineroar, Licklicky, Gorgeist, Rotom, and Megalatios. Uh, with the uh, Z users being Manaphy and Rotom. Can we just yeah. talk about the criminal action that is the last round Megalatios? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's actually. I mean, if you look at the first. Three Something that happened. Like, Celestila, Sylveon, and Megaladios, like, getting that in general is pretty good. And then he also has freaking Manaphy and Weavile. And then he has, like, some uh, lower point picks in Incineroar, which is a Tom's great... book is really good for 5 points. Incineroar, um, yeah, Rotom 2, yeah, with Z, especially. And then, like, Likaliki and Gorgeist, which are also really great value picks in my opinion this is a really really good draft like yeah. uh, very... i do not approve of double ghost and gorgas and rotom i think you should get rid of gorgas for a straight up grass type uh your grass type <laughs> yeah double ghost ball. could be a problem especially when you don't have like yeah i mean you've got lick licky which is probably dark. one of the best low tier chats yeah. double dark to back up the double ghost which is no, fine, I guess. And a normal type in Lick Licky, which tanks pretty much every ghost. Licky Licky, by the way, which is also a typo in this draft. Oh. Licky Licky. Yeah. It's written it's Lick Licky, not Licky Licky. <laughs> Lick um, whatever. No yeah, it's the, same, it's, it's the same story as Eden's draft in that it's like Megalatios plus uh, Weavile. It's really solid as a core, but this one has like obscene backup by Celesteela as well, which is just a bit wild. Right. I mean, Mega going down going down the draft order here, you know, this Weavile went round four. Round four Weavile. And then round nine, nine. Megalatios. Yeah, it's... Whew. It's, it's, it's questionable what the rest of Blue were doing. I mean, Vicky and Wild is the same there. draft, but still. But this is, <laughs> this is, uh, th this is like one of the one of the top three drafts for me. I think between um, the Flint, the Flint Tropius, uh, New Jersey Hound Dooms, and now the Toronto Tyranitars, those are the big three drafts for me. It's always possible that Shiny and Blitz were the only guys left uh, without picking Mega, so they they schemed and plotted. So they would they not, not <laughs> work together. together. Um, so who was so. without the mega, Zach? Yeah, Zach didn't know he was supposed to take a mega. So yeah, um, I also so quite I also quite point. highly rate Sylveon's wish support on this team. Like the a wish core between Licklicky and Sylveon is actually super good. I I can really get behind that. 
irritating. The only thing the thing lacks is uh, removal. The thing removal is terrible. Uh, Rotom is okay. Audio is in, to run in default. And yeah, it's a lot of pressure on Rotom to come. To run default because it has Vivile and uh, Incineroar, which hate rocks and love to switch in. They hate rocks. Well, doesn't so, love to switch in too um, much. The key is his only rocker. No, I, I don't mean he loves to switch in, he loves to switch out. Like, he hits and he gets out. That if, yeah. if you run bandit or something. Oh yeah, you just brought up a good point. There's only one... Did you just say there was only one rocker on this team? Licky Licky, uh, right? No, Licky Licky doesn't even get rocks. There's no rocks on this team. There's no rocks. Wait, it doesn't get rocks? No. no. No rocks on this team? No rocks on this team. Ah. Oof. Okay. Oof. Ultra Sun and Moon That's came out and people thought that Astila got rocks and everybody Okay, that, that, now that, now that I've just noticed that, um, yeah, <laughs> it is, it is that that can be a problem because having such having such limited removal and then like no response in terms of hazards, you're just kind of like putting yourself at risk to be hazard stacked. I don't know. Not maybe only that... you're, you're bad at defogging, you're also bad at forcing your opponent to defog. Yeah. I'd maybe I I'd maybe mean... like look at swapping go guys for like a really low tier D uh, low tier rocket just to say at least you've got one. But if I were him, I would actually drop. Both Licky Licky and Gorgeist, because Licky Licky, I mean, he well, can't drop. What does I mean, Licky Licky provide what Sylvian doesn't already? Uh, yeah. I mean, Heal Bell and Wish Support. Hey, if I were here, pick a like a that's thing main. That's something. the main reason to pick Licky Licky, right? Yeah, you you pick Licky Licky for the Wish Support. And I guess it's a normal type, but maybe he can find a uh, four or eight points. Mon that is normal type and gets rocks. He yeah, needs two months. Be hard. He should be hard. Like he needs two months because if he takes. Yeah, he can't drop below nine. One. So, but I don't know. I think there's ways he can modify the team a bit to uh, to to better support that. Um, yeah. And all right. Once he does, it's a really really good team. Any final points from the cast on on this team? How. Megalatios, no Celestila, and Manaphy have been in the same draft as Final Four. Yeah, it's that it's a pretty oh, powerful. Don't forget uh, it's a pretty powerful top four. There's a there's a good you know, you can bring the same five to every game, pretty much pretty much uncontested, and then have your last your last two just be whatever fits the bill best. But you always have a solid core of four to five there easily every week. Oh, that will always do the job. Absolutely. All right. So that was wrapping up. Yeah, that's it. For this Great. Of red. Well, that covers we all go. of our drafts for red. If you haven't seen the yellow division draft for some reason before this, then uh, maybe you'll want to go check that out. Maybe you won't. You just came here to see what we thought of your own draft, but you know, there we go. But anyway, um, thank you everybody for watching. Thank you, you guys, for uh, doing both both of the um, draft reviews for for this cast. Um, yeah, appreciate the time you. you guys have all given. So Pleasure. thank you very much. Uh, and aside from that, uh, we will see you in the next cast.